I'm, the math is what Coach Walter says. This is what's in today, you know. So, so that's got to get covered and everything. But I think we we established our identity towards the you know the, the latter half of the season last year, and and I think our guys have really bought into the system and how we're going about it. And now it's like, right, how can I get better within the system? You know, we, we studied all off season. What can we do better? Now we're implementing little little details along the way. So now it's just all right. We've done that. Now how do we get better from how do my my hands are going to be here versus there? And, and individually, each guy's watched themselves over the course of the off season. All right, this is where I want to get better at. Well, that's our job now to help them get to that point. Even with the vets gone, it feels like the other guys are significantly closer to where they need to be. Absolutely, absolutely. So then that's the beauty of, of year two, right? Like uh, having the ability to come back and know what's going on, know my job, know my responsibility, not just going to play versus teaching the whole thing to, to, to some of these guys. And now we're still teaching it to some of the new guys, all right? But uh, like, like Seth Coleman's and Zeke Holmes, they've, they've established themselves here. They know what to do. Now they're just going out and playing, which is fun to watch. How's this different this year? Like last year you had two guys, I don't want to say like guaranteed to start, but two guys in Owen and Isaiah with a lot of experience. Right. Now you guys, it feels like maybe have a few more bodies to sort through and figure this out. How, how do you yeah. approach that? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, Seth and Zeke are two guys that have played significant football here. Um, and now they, we had uh, Alec Bryant and Dwayne Johnson and, and you know, Jared Beatty's a guy that just got here. Mm -hmm. and, so those guys have all been able to kind of come in and, and, and play a little bit. But now it's, the two leaders of the room have, have graduated and are gone, and now it's kind of fun to see how the leadership is building within the room. Like, who's going to be the guy to talk? Who's going to be the guy to pull these guys around? And, and that's what we're trying to build a lot in our, within our room right now. It's like, who's going to be that voice of, the, of, of not just the room, but the defense? What was important? Just, I know he was I'm happy. Sit around and watch right. No, I'm, I'm. I've been extremely happy at the two practices. Oh, wow. Now we'll see. Uh, we'll see what pads come on. You know, like he's, he's a he's a bright individual. He's got great football IQ, and he's a powerful. You know, like when he plays, he's powerful. Uh, and so he's got he's got he, when he strikes people, you know it. So I'm excited to see how that translates with pads on come Saturday. Are you worried about somebody who has to sit around and watch? You know, as long as he did, just being a little too anxious when they get out there. Uh, like yes and no. It just okay. depends on the kid. You know, I think he was a kid who was he got here and he had to sit and watch, but he was always engaged. You know, it's the kids that don't engage themselves. I, I never had to poke and prod out to, to kind of come up and learn stuff, and he always did on his own, which is the key to a guy that really likes football and wants to be really great. So, so him learning it, and and he got some practices at the end of the spring where where he got a lot more reps where he knew what to do, which is great. And so. Uh, I mean, the position that he plays is a fun position, and, and, and I think he, they've guys, all these guys have really bought into what they're doing. What has stood out about Jared since you've gotten him here? He has put on 20 pounds in like two months. Okay. So he came in at like 205, and now he's 225. So like his work ethic and, and how he goes about, like this, he's on a mission right now to try to get some stuff accomplished. And, and you don't see that very often from, from what should be a senior in high school. Uh, <laughs> And like he has been extremely driven. He knows exactly what he wants to do, how he wants, and he's asking all the right questions. Uh, so he's just, you know, he's what we thought he was going to be coming in so far, and we'll just see. He's going to be a guy that we're going to develop, and I'm excited to see what he can do. There's still kind of a rawness about him a little bit. Oh, he plays sure. like some basketball oh, for yeah. a while. Like he's, oh, yeah. he's still kind he, of in the middle. He's green as green can be, <laughs> but you know, he's got the right the right tools and the right work ethic, ethic to go with it. Talent